on Saturday, June 22nd, 2019, I, I posted anachronism number 2872. Starts out with a quote. I want to be, I know, sorry. I want to tell you about love and loneliness. That's Madonna. The song changes and I can't listen, can you? I've been sitting here for days waiting on everything, but nothing comes. Not you, not a box, not you in a box, no car, no fender bender, no tow truck, no howling winds. Nothing gets here but summer, which is something I never anticipate because it is not that for which I hope. And it's not a promise that can be broken. And furthermore, by the time it arrives, everything is over. Is everything over? Summer is here. The end, done. But this is not what I am here to tell you tonight. Tonight, in the unsleepable quiet, I wanna tell you about love and loneliness. The funny thing about this desire, about any desire, when it comes down to desire that sits in solitude, in a receptacle of loneliness, is to whom would it possibly be undone? Because who can one tell in such a place as this? Once, like it would be always, yes, a decade happens, or a heart attack. Where are you? Where is he? With your kitty cat photos that come in the mail, i.e. the phone, the old laptop, covered, blanketed almost with I miss you's, and yet nobody, no box, no blank check. That last part I got from the song, just changed and then again I got from the song that came after that almost every song tells me there is a blank check arriving or mostly that there is cash lots of cash lots of love lots of shopping what's called in the song now playing that just shot through the aurora borealis and into my head just now radio waves with yet another promise to somehow contend with retail therapy it has been promised. And I am afraid I know where all of the promises go all too well. So if you do arrive, will it be necessary? No. Will this arrival contain any currency? Or whatever the lion was missing that motivated him to somehow join the others on their way to Oz? Forget it. Forget love. Or else I've forgotten it. I forget now. Just like now, my head hurting, having another place, uh, having another piece ripped as if strategically from my memory, something as impossible as walking down 6th Street from Market, almost two blocks, and climbing the stairs to the fourth floor, where you might find a door on which the number 424 is stenciled. Open it, and you found my box. I believe you missed our moment. I dreamt that I missed your moment. We most certainly missed our moment. Your moment is gone. My moment is forever, it seems. Am I just an exaggeration, a short film of a ceramic heart shown on the screen in a small theater, falling in slow motion? Perhaps the film strip breaks before the heart hits the ground and crashes into inexplicable beauty. I forgot beautiful when I thought it was you that I lost, but I had forgotten my deadline too. We all have deadlines. And now that I am reliving this gorgeous life every single day, every single day, this gorgeous life, it doesn't matter that you'll never arrive. Whoever comes first, I think, that will be okay. That may be all right. So uh, I am almost all the way to Howard Street. On the left, 175 6th, yes, you must climb the stairs because the elevator is always broken down. Like you must be now that I am beautiful again. All the way to the fourth floor. No, I will not pick you up at the airport tomorrow, but I will see you when I get there. When I get there. When I get there. And I am now almost where I belong. <laughs>